Hello, um, welcome to the Saturday Wrap, the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 30th of January 2021. For those of you who haven't seen this before, I wrap it on a lot. It's a look back on all the things that happened to me um, weekend in Saturday the 30th of January and it's sort of bye-bye January time. I try to avoid politics. There has been a lot of politics this week. However, I want to talk about social media. And this, this is my beer of the day. I want to talk about local breweries, social media, and why. Actually, that's really nice. It says bitter, but it's actually quite complex. It starts off quite malty, and then in the middle, it's sort of chocolatey. And there's a gentle, bitter, fruity finish. B plus and a bit. Um, if you know my rather hard marking system, I like it. Um, 15 minutes walk from where I live. Um, they opened their shop today. Um, shopping for beer is essential and is allowed under the rules. And they have also built a tap room. So when the pubs reopen, I can pop along there and have a couple of sherbets. Really good. Anyway, so yeah, I look back on the week. <laughs> um, so last Saturday, after I'd done this, the post was there and I opened it up and it was my camera membership. Um, for those of you who are not aware, camera, the campaign for real ale. That means beer in casks. Uh, generally speaking, with the big hand pole pumps. I won't go into the intricacies of it, but um, you get money off vouchers for weather spoons. 50p off a pint. I haven't spent last year's yet. They are problematical um, to some camera members um, because it devalues the price of beers. And, well, especially now, brewers are in a lot of trouble. And, um, hmm... Still, I just thought it was ironic, but something to look forward to because I really want to get back out to pubs and sit in the corner and surf the internet and do this sort of thing and drink quality local brews. Bedwars. Anyway, and then on Sunday, the snow arrived. I think I was up about five o'clock. I was doing the fantasy football. <laughs> Actually, um, when I was getting the beer today, um, the guy at the brewery said, um, you just tend to tweet numbers. And I suppose I do. It was actually the fantasy football place things. <laughs> But if you don't know that, uh, it's all abbreviations and names and stuff. And yeah, I kind of do. Anyway, um, back to the snow. The snow came down. It was five o'clock in the morning. Uh, wasn't a, well, there wasn't tons of it, but there was a good covering and it looked lovely. It sort of mostly went on the Sunday. I should have gone out and cleared it off the car because what happened overnight was it had melted and then it froze and then it was a sod to get off on the Saturday morning. Double hot water bottles on the dash definitely helped. And here's another thing. Remember I was talking about doing things by routine and because you've always done it that way. Well, double hot water bottles on the dash and then half a ton of de-icing fluid on the outside and sometimes it's so cold that the inside is frozen as well and you have to wait for the air blower inside to melt the ice. And I thought to myself, what am I doing? I've got a number of cloths, spray the de-icing fluid on the cloth and wipe the inside of the screen and get rid of the ice. How I never thought of that, because it is straightforward and simple. I'll never know. 
but I do know now. And that's, well, you know, things. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if the inside's ever frozen again, get that cloth out. You know the yellow ones for cars? Spray it all over that, wet the inside of the screen. We're in business. Actually, there's a yellow ice warning from, I think it's 6 o'clock tonight to 11 o'clock tomorrow. Um, not that I'm going anywhere. Um, I'll probably be drinking beers from, and I'll come back to them later, the well-drawn brewery in Bedwas. Because, um, well, I'm not going out anywhere, and the weather does look a bit rubbish. So, um, things that happened in the week. Frank Lampard, the Chelsea manager, a microcosm of a lot of things that are wrong with the world. He was sacked. Okay, started off all right, but he wasn't doing really well, and you're out. And there's a German in. I quite like the Germans, and foreign managers tend to be good, but it's like sometimes you've got to think about the long term. But he's gone and I like Frank and Frank was a great Chelsea player and his father a West Ham player and I think Frank played for West Ham was I can't remember <laughs> I could be wrong but yeah and I'm glad football's still going lockdown one no football and they were all arguing about everything but football takes your mind off things and that's one of the things about the lockdown is you need other things to concentrate on and you can't beat the idiocy uh, is sometimes football and the premiership all open liverpool losing then winning and oh, i'm really enjoying it really 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 enjoying it anyway Talking of lockdown, I think it was Wednesday going into Thursday, um, BBC Wales, their news programme, Wales Today at 6.30, um, BBC One in Wales, they had a thing about working from home and lockdown. Here's the thing. Always look what's in your background. I mean, I've got some stuff off to the well that side yeah and a door so that's not too bad there was a lady and on her bookshelf she had how can i put it a marital aid the internet mainly twitter exploded it was really funny and the best thing i saw is someone covered it up with a picture of bernie in his chair with his mitts yeah <laughs> It did make me chuckle. And here's the thing, uh, the internet and social media. A lot of people don't like it because they're attacking me or whatever. Yeah, be careful. Only say things on there that you'd say in real life. Um, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be talking about beer and I've tweeted out some beer tweets today and such like. Anyway, my local brewery, um, uh, Well Drawn Beer Co., on the i can't think of it it's uh, on the greenway estate um 15 minutes walk from where i am um they had that they were opening up a um, well it's they've got cascale um on stillage and they've opened up or they've done a tap room although that's closed until we come out to lockdown and they would be selling from 10 till 2 today and they tweeted me said are you coming along so obviously my reply was contactless of course they're contactless and i was there at 10 o'clock this morning of course it rained although not quite as badly as i thought um, i'm fed up with the rain now i really am i need an emergency spring but social media can be good you can talk to people you would never talk to you could talk about things that you would never talk to just be nice to people and it's an incredible tool it really is more beer bed was bitter so um without social media i wouldn't have been supporting my local brewery and i'm really pleased that i did anyway talking about the weather and such like um my seed potatoes arrived on thursday 
So tomorrow, um, I will be putting them in trays and chitting them like the wind. C-H, I started that word with chitting, um, to make your potatoes grow better. We need to get some compost um, before the end of March. That's where I intend to put the earlies in, is at the end of March. He says, hopefully. Hello to be, well, 2012, the end of March was really hot on such like, um, I don't know. Anyway, the talk is that uh, in England, they're possibly slowly coming out of lockdown on March the 8th. Wales, uh, nippers, infants, uh, primary, going back to school, um, possibly after half term, who knows. Anyway, so that was sort of my week. And this morning, um, I was going to take the car. Um, but the rain sort of held off and it was drizzly and whatever, so I walked over to Well Drawn. Excellent welcome. Really nice person there. Um, and, well, you've seen the beers. And they've got some other beers there. They've got some stuff from Adaya and Verdant. Um, so um, they are beers and other beers, which I think is a really good mix. Um, COVID secure friendly, know what they're talking about, contactless, excellent. So, um, that's January gone. It seemed, and it was, a very long month, but looking back on it, oh, it's just disappeared again. February, hmm. for all mankind, and um, there are other things that are going to be knocking around which I can't think about at the moment. Um, no, <laughs> that's probably an age thing. Anyway, um, cheers. Um, I hope you all are well and are staying safe. And I think I've avoided politics mostly. And I'll see you back in February. Comments, YouTube, Twitter, and the various other places. Um, Prost. Oh, can't find the stop button. Bing.